welcome back. We're doing another declutter today. Now, just while I've got you here, I'm not doing a full on declutter because again, I'm happy with my blush collection, my highlighter collection, um, my bronzer collection, you know, face palette collection. I've really kind of cut those down and I haven't really added to them at all. Um, maybe just a few things here and there. So, but there are things that I really wanted. So I'm probably not going to do those. So I'm just kind of going through and just cutting down on some things that I know I don't need anymore, that I haven't touched, that I'm not using, so that I can just make space in my collection for the things I really want. So don't expect a collection in, or a declutter in every category because I've done a pretty good job of, of what I've bought this year again. You know, I will be doing a palette collection and I might declutter a few things there, but don't get too excited about that because you guys know how I feel about palettes. And on top of that, I'm I'm just a collector and so that'll be more of a collection video, but I will be doing some decluttering along the way. So just a uh, heads up. So what I'm decluttering today is just everything in this container. I did get, and I will link all of my containing, uh, my containing, my container stuff that I got. I've gotten all of this off Amazon. So I'll link everything um, in the description bar so you can see where I got it. So I'm going to be trying to go through this pretty and, and really kind of other than eyeliners and like lip liners and glitter. I, mean, I, mean, I don't know. We'll just see. I'm trying to get rid of a bunch of stuff in this category because there's just some stuff I know I do not use. So again, I'll be doing swatches. So my hands might get a little dirty. I apologize. I'm trying to keep them clean. But anyway, let's jump right into this. So I do have this big container that I got on Amazon and I want to say it was like 35 bucks or something like that. So up here I keep pigments and uh, pencils and liners and glitter and all that kind of stuff. So I don't, I don't know how to do this other than let's just go ahead and jump in and get started. So I'm going to start back here with pigments. So I do have some of these pigments from Bare Minerals. Now, I never, I never use these. I never use these. So, so I never use these. That's so pretty though. That is, let's I'm gonna swatch this. Look how pretty that is. That is the shade. I got rid of a bunch of Bare Mineral pigments a while ago. That's the shade L if I know. <laughs> it's kind of funny. I'm gonna keep that just in case. And I'm also gonna keep this uh, this pigment right here, which is called Masquerade, which is a beautiful duochrome. Uh, just because I pigments are just really versatile. So I might keep some of these just to, to play with. So I'm gonna hold on to those. All right, guys, I'm just gonna put my like ugly towel down right here. Please ignore it, it's dirty. I've been swatching things. Um, I do have these glitters from Charlotte Russe that are a million years old, but again, they're glitter. It's not like they go bad. So I'm going to keep these, this little stack here. These are relatively new. These are loose eyeshadows from Ulta and they're actually really pretty. Look how gorgeous that is. That's sepia. Like I said, I just never remember to use these. And this one is YOLO. I'm going to keep both of those. All right. I do have some more pigments. I don't know. I'm just tempted to keep pigments. This one is the color tattoo in forest fairy tale. That one's really pretty. I just, I need to redo these. And so I reach for them more. This one is the color tattoo in pink rebel. Just a really pretty pinky color. Oh, it was a terrible swatch. Sorry guys. This is the color tattoo in Barely Brazen. Oh, why don't I use these? Okay, these these are all staying, but I'm about to do some damage somewhere else, I promise. And these are, this is the color tattoo in Never Fail Jade, which is more of a matte color, but that's pretty too. Okay, I'm keeping all those pigments. Sorry, not off to a good start. All right. Some of these are old as dirt, so these are going to be able to go. Okay, I can get them out. All right, this is the Maybelline Color Tattoo in Tenacious Teal. That is dried out. Dried out, gonna go. This is in Creamy Beige. Again, dried out, gonna go in the trash. This is in the shade Bad to the Bronze. Some of these are old as dirt. I mean, I could still use that one, but it's old. That one's gonna go. This one is in the shade Pomegranate Punk. I love this color, but again, it's old. That one needs to go. All right, these are the e.l.f. eyeshadow and eyeliners, and this is in the shade Beast. 
dried out. It's gonna go. I love the packaging though. How pretty is that? This is in the shade Bell. Oh, this one isn't bad. Mm. Just, am I ever gonna use this? I'm not, I gotta let it go. This is in the shade Cruisin' Chic. This one is still in good shape. I like that color. Oh, we're gonna keep that one. You can see. This is in the shade Let It Go, which I really like this one. Really pretty base color. These actually make really pretty highlighters as well, so I'll keep that one. And this is in the shade Brownie Points. This one is also still in good shape. I need to make more of an effort to use my cream cream products. I just don't use them as much. All right, I do have two of the Stila Glitter and Glow eyeshadows. This one is in Smoldering Satin, which is stunning. That's definitely staying. And then I have the shade Mint Myth. This was a new one I just got. So both of those are staying. So we definitely have some older ones here. This is the Butter London Wink Cream Eyeshadow. This is in English Rose. This one is really pretty. Oh God, that's so pretty. Why am I swatching everything? Oh, uh, I don't need it. it. Needs to go. Just needs to be trashed. This is the Rimmel Scandalize Eyeshadow Paint in Velvet Black. See, like these are so pretty. I just never use them. This one's kind of drying out. That one's gonna go. These are the Jordana Made to Last Liquid Eyeshadows. These are beautiful. I just never reach for these. Why don't I reach for these? These are gorgeous. This one is, and these were limited edition. This is a Round Town Brown. This one is in Forever Sand. These are gorgeous eyeshadow bases. And then this one is in Immortal Metal. Really interesting olive green color. Those are still feeling good, so I'm gonna keep those. This is a Mica Beauty Cosmetics that I got from a friend who got it in a, in a beauty box, and it's really pretty. It's stunning, I'm gonna keep that. Got a pretty duochrome to it. And then in here, I just keep my lit. Um, this is a liquid sugar base for glitter. I got this at IMATS, it's my litter, lit glitter base and just some small brushes for glitter, so those are all staying. I do have some more glittery eyeshadow products, eyeliner products. This is from Perfusion. I loved this glitter eyeshadow for the longest time. It is dried out, so that one's gonna get thrown away. These are the L'Oreal Infallible uh, paints. This is in Mint Detox. These are really beautiful. Yeah, those are staying. I just need to make a resolution that I'm going to use these. And then this is Cool Ivory. These are great quality. So I'll keep those. These are some of my favorite eyeliners ever. They are the Tardis Pro, what are they? The Tardis Clay Paint Liners. I am gonna keep these. I have them in navy, bronze, black, and aubergine. So those are gonna stay back there. All right, I have a bunch of pencils, pencil bases. So this is Yogurt from NYX. This is one of my all-time favorite pencils. That one can stay. This is from Rimmel Scandalize. This is Trespassing Taupe. See, these are, I feel like I can keep these now because I got rid of all of those Maybelline color tattoos and these are still good. This is in Blamed Blue from Rimmel. Wait, look at that. I need to redo these in my collection so I reach for them more. This one is in Blackmail and these are waterproof. That one's a little dried out. So I think I'm gonna get rid of that one. And then this one is the color tattoo from Maybelline in Charcoal Chrome. This one is also dried out, so that one's gonna go. This is in the shade Rust. This one is very similar to Pomegranate Punk. I'm gonna keep that one. This is the shade Iced Mocha, again from NYX. Really beautiful, I'm keeping that one. This is the shade in Peacock 
from NYX. Uh, I'm gonna let this one go. It's similar to the Rimmel one. This is the shade, what shade are you in? Rocky Mountain Green from NYX. How pretty that one, Stan. I'm redoing, I'm redoing this so that I actually reach for these. And then of course this is Milk. That one can stay. So that is the first drawer done. I'm just taking all this out because I'm gonna redo this. It's all getting redone, okay. Moving on. All right, this is where I keep liquid liners and glitter. So let's start over here. So I have my Wet n Wild H2O liquid liner. This is my all time favorite liquid liner. Really good at keeping that. I don't do liquid liner. Well, this is probably up there with the Jordana Cat Eyeliner in the black shade. So that one's gonna stay. I have my Color Envy liquid liner um, that Liv gave me in, ooh, in antique line, linger, linger. I can never know how to, I never know how to say this. Really pretty olivey green with some glitter in it. That one's staying. This is a Clinique Pretty Easy Eyeliner. Um, I don't like this. It, it It's not black, it's not easy to use, and it bleeds on me, so that one's gonna go. I have the NYX Vivid Brights in silver. That is super dried out, that one's going. I have the Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner Brights in turquoise. I think this one is dried out too. Oh, uh, no, it's not. You can stay, sir. This is the Invaluable, Infallible Paints Liquid Eyeliner in Intrepid Teal. Yep, that one's still good. You can stay, I like those liners. And then I have the one in white as well. These are really good little liners. These are also great eyeliners. These are the cat eyeliners from Jordana. They're really affordable and really, um, and really affordable and really nice. They're very much like the old um, Urban Decay eyeliners, but most of these are dried out. So these are probably going to go. And I'll just repurchase these if I want a particular color because they are amazing. That teal. This one is black brown. I want to say that one's still good. That one can stay. Use the heck out of these colors. That blue is still good, and that is in the shade Twilight. And then this is in the shade Envy. That one's still good too, so we'll keep that one. Glitters I have, I'm just gonna keep, because let's be real, glitters don't go bad, but I'll show you what I have. So I do have, this is Peacock from Lit. I don't wanna open these up, I'm look this, I should. So Peacock from Lit, really beautiful. These are going to be messy. This is Seeing Stars from Lit. This one is True Romance from Lit. I haven't done a glitter look in forever. And I need to get on that. And this one is Oprah. This one was recommended to me by Samantha Riley when I met her at IMATS. Look how stunning that is. I also got some eye candy glitters. This one is in Spearmint. Oh, look at that. Uh, this one is in Candy Apple. Actually, I'm just gonna, no, I can't show you on these. Just a beautiful black and red. And this one I bought because a girl that was working um, the eye candy counter at iMats was wearing this and it was gorgeous. This is called Smitten. I'm doing a look with that. This is the Vixen Lip Effects. So these come with the Tattoo Junkie uh, lip paints. This one is, it just says lip effects. So these are either like pigments or really, really fine shimmers or glitters. And you just, you can mix them in with your lip color and they're actually really beautiful. I did a Christmas tutorial with this one and I wanna say Pucker Up not too long ago. It was a few years ago actually. I'll, I'll link it if I remember um, where I used the lip the glitter lip paints and they actually worked really well. This is the sugar one. Some of these are labeled, some of them are not. Just cool little little effect for the lips. So I do like those. Okay, I do have some pigments here. So I'm gonna swatch these because I'm not sure if I want to keep them or not. So this was from one of the Ursula Disney villain collections, this Leviathan. It is a beautiful kind of iridescent shimmer. Right there. Oh, that one's pretty. I'll keep you. This was from the Christmas collection a couple years ago. This is uh, from Wet n Wild. This is Dom and Cherry on top. 
and I just never reach for these. Let's see. It's pretty gold. I just feel like these are sitting in my collection and somebody else could get some use out of these because I just don't use them. I have, I, you know, I have so many dang eyeshadows. I just, that is Heart of Rose Gold. I think this is going to go in my go to friends and family pile. I don't think I'm going to keep any of these. These are, this is Ride on My Copper. Now, these are pretty, but I have eyeshadows that are just as pretty. So those are going to go. I have some more glitters. I have a bunch of the NYX Glitter Brights. This one is in, shade you in, Sucka. I want to say it's teal. I don't see that. Yeah, teal. This is in the shade teal. This is in the shade gunmetal. Trying to get you a good picture of them without opening them, but it's just not happening. It's gunmetal. This is in the shade gold gold or bronze I'm sorry bronze uh, this is in the shade copper I actually did a pretty fall tutorial with this color right here oh man no. and then this one I haven't even opened but we're gonna go ahead and open it now that is in the shade violet so keep in that one I also have the shade ice which is uh, more iridescent more iridescent, really fine shimmer. You know what, since I have this one, I'm gonna go ahead and let go of Leviathan because this one's just a little bit more, this one's just a little bit finer version of this one. So that one's gonna have more impact. So that one's gonna go. All those pigments are gone. I do have a bunch of these glitters from Hard Candy as well. People don't like these because they're so hard to get out, but if you pop off the little sifter, these are great glitters. I really enjoy these. And this is from the duo, they come in duos. This is from the duo Deep Blue Sea. Just great little glitters, very inexpensive. And then this is from the City Chic duo. I have glitter everywhere. Really pretty iridescent glitter. I need to start using glitter more. I'm like a five-year-old it calls to me and then I never ever use it all right let's look at mascaras real quick so just some ones that I know I'm keeping because I'm going to be finishing them up is the Urban Decay Troublemaker the Man Eater Mascara that one is still good this one so this little sample I like using that on my lower lash line Wet n Wild Mega Length is one of my favorites that one is staying this is the new Ulta Beauty Twisted Volume Mascara. I just got this, so I'm trying that one out. This is the Max Fanatic um, Mascara from Wet n Wild. I love this mascara, and it is still good. I just used it the other day, so I'm keeping that one. Woo. This BH Cosmetics Long Sexy Lashes Mascara it needs to go. I've never used it. It's old. It's dried up. That's just terrible. I have the Bad Gal Lash from Benefit. I never, I'm not a big fan of this, so that one is gonna go. I have the Fully Charged Mascara from Pure. I liked this mascara in the sample, but then when I got it in the full size, I was not a fan. Sometimes I think it's just better to buy mascaras in samples sizes than it is to buy full sizes, but that's a whole, neither here nor there. This is my Rocket Volume Mascara. Um, Express that needs to go. I use that one in my kids dried out. So I put it in there so I could remember to get rid of it This is the colossal big shot mascara. This one needs to go. It is old, but I really like this one This one might be a repurchase down the road This is another product that a friend of mine gave me from their boxy charm or ipsy or something It's the Ico lash alert mascara. I've been using this and I really like it. So that one's gonna stay Better than sex mascara is gonna stay, that one is still good. I've got my Lights Camera Lashes Mascara from Tarte. That one can stay, I need to finish that one up. I do have my mas um, Super Sizer from CoverGirl, that one needs to stay. This is ridiculous. Okay, my Total Temptations Mascara, which might be my absolute all-time favorite mascara from Maybelline, that one needs to go, but that will be a repurchase eventually. 
I have the Voluminous Lash Paradise. Um, I accidentally got the waterproof version and I don't like it. So that one's going to go. I'm going to retry it when I get just the regular version. And then I also have the Lash Renegade Mascara from Wet n Wild. Another mascara I really like, but this one is old and needs to go. So all of those mascaras will be, I'll be holding on to the ones that I declutter. I'll be holding on to for a brief amount of time because I'm going to be doing a video on how you can use your old mascara wands and donate them to charity. So that should be coming up in like a week or so. So just keep a heads up for that one. Got a bunch of lip liners in here that are old and need to go. So, but let's just dig into this. So first of all, I've got several of the Cabernets in here, the Jordana Easy Liners for Lips. Those are staying because I love them. Uh, this is the NYX Lip Liner in Plush Red. Ooh, that's a maybe. Urban Decay Lip Liner. This is the 24-7 Lip Pencil in 714. That one's definitely staying. NYX Lip Liner in Nutmeg. Love that color. That one's staying for sure. Rimmel Exaggerate Full Color Lip Liner in Natural. I, I want to like these, but they're just, they, they break on me. So this one is going to go um, as is East End Snob, which I know is a favorite of of people's but they're just too soft for me so those are gonna go i don't like them this is the urban decay lip liner in naked that one is gonna stay which i think is different from the original naked i had this is the urban decay lip liner in broken it's gonna stay i like the urban decay formula this is the prestige lip liner in kiss these are really really dry i don't i don't like these these are gonna go Urban Decay Lip Liner in Rock Steady, another great red. That one's gonna stay. Here is Terra Kiss from Jordana, Easy Liner for Lips. I love these. These are my favorite all time lip pencil, period, hands down. You can't get better lip liners as far as I'm concerned. They're like a dollar. Here's another Prestige Lip Liner. This is the brand Prestige, and this is in the shade Love. Again, I just don't like these. They're too, too dry, not a fan got the NYX lip liner in pumpkin spice. Very interesting color. I don't think I have anything else like that. So that's going to stay. I have the Jordana easy liner for lips in tawny. Another great, beautiful color right there. I have another NYX lip liner in mahogany. Another great lip liner. Beautiful. You know what? I'm keeping that red one from went in plush red. Yeah, I'm keeping it from NYX. I love NYX lip liners. Um, and this is the NYX. Oh, that's a line. Oh, I have that line. Another really underrated brand of lip liners is the BH Cosmetics Waterproof Lip Liners. This is in the shade Rosy. These are beautiful. I've got Double Team from Urban Decay. I usually don't wear this color pink, but when I do, at least I've got a lip liner for it. I don't have many of that color. Speaking of, I just picked up another one. This one is in Dolly Pink. This one's a little bit more on the mauvey, mauvey, mauvey side. I'll keep that one. This is an old as dirt lip liner. Um, this is the Lip Perfection in Passion. It matched the lipstick that I wore to my recital. I'm not even going to swatch that. That's old, so it's going to go. I've got another Exaggerate in Pure from Rimmel. Again, they're pretty, but they just, I don't like the way they apply. They're too soft. That one's going to go. Old School Milani Lip Liner in Satin Rose. The reason I keep this around is because I can keep sterilizing it, and it hasn't dried out yet, so that one's staying. That's probably 300 years old. Another Jordana Lip Liner in, this one is in Silver Lilac. If you have not checked out these Jordana lip liners, guys, they are just the way to go. Coco Loco from Jordana. Just another great brownie lip liner. They, these lip liners are also really emollient, so they're great for use with drier liquid lipsticks because they just give you a little bit more moisture in between. Here's Baby Berry from Jordana. Guys, I'm really kind of a drugstore lipstick or lip liner kind of gal. I make an exception for Urban Decay. Um, Sedona Red. Pretty kind of bright strawberry red. 
Here's another Exaggerate from Rimmel, and this one is in Rich. Again, the colors are so pretty. I just, I wish they had a little bit more stiffness to them. Here's another one from BH Cosmetics. This one is in Earth. These are so good, guys. If you haven't tried these, highly recommend. Here is a, one of the new lip liners from Wet n Wild. This is another great formula. I just don't... And, you know, I, I maybe I'm talking out of my ass because I've never tried, like, Charlotte Tilbury or anything like that, but I just don't see the need when you have so many great options in the drugstore. This is from Kiss Professional New York Luxury Intense Lip Liner in Rosy Nude. This is another great, very emollient, easy-to-apply lip liner formula. This one is from Model Co. I don't even know who gave this to me, um, but I'm going to get rid of that one. It's pretty, but... I don't know where it came from. This is uh, the Maybelline Color Sensational Shaping Lip Liners. I was not impressed with these guys. These were like eight bucks. They dried out so super fast. The Wet n Wild ones are so much better. This is another Kiss Professional New York Luxury Intense Lip Liner. This one is in magenta. Super colorful lip liner. Here is another Urban Decay in Wonderland. I have got another NYX. This one is in Cabaret. Not to be confused with Cabernet. Really gorgeous color. Here is a... Do I have two plush plums? Hmm. Probably. No, maybe I don't. I don't have two plush plums. Alright, this is plush plum from Jordana. Gorgeous color. Probably my second favorite to Cabernet. This one is Rock and Rose from Jordana. Not a really gorgeous, gorgeous color. Nudie brown. Here's another great Milani one. This one is old as dirt and needs to go. I could keep this one going, but I've got so many other good reds that I'm just not going to worry about it. And then this one is Pink Love from Jordana. So can you see what my favorite lip liner formula ever is? So, so good. All right, we made a little bit of a dent in that drawer. So the last drawer is eyeliners, and this one's gonna be a little bit hard. Oh, look, here's another lip liner, guys. Sorry, this is the uh, other Naked. So that is the, yeah, this is the original Naked that I got from Urban Decay, and when I reordered it in the full size, it was definitely a different color, but that's okay. I like them both. All right, we're not, and we don't even have to mess with the bottom drawer because it's just hair stuff, so, oh. Apparently, I don't know how to put lip liners back where, they supposed to, where they're supposed to go. This is my open Cabernet. Just beautiful. Let's see if, how many more lip liners we find in here. Oh, get it together, Heather. All right, so I have quite a few drugstore brands in here, but I also really, really love Urban Decay 24-7 eyeliner pencils. It's just one of my favorites, so there's going to be a lot of that. There's going to be a lot of Stila, um, but let's see if we can get through some of these and get rid of some of these colors. Even if they're unique, if I don't use them, what's the point? What's that? So this is the Wet n Wild Mega Last eye, Retractable Eyeliner in Misty Eyes. Thinking it's time for this one to go. Here's another retractable eyeliner. This one is in Chronic. Oh, that one's really pretty, actually. You're a maybe. This is one of my favorite um, waterline eyeliners. This is the NYX Wonder Brow Pencil in Light. I actually have one in my eyeliner drawer, and then I keep one in my brow drawer just to make sure that I have it. Love that one. I also love the Rimmel Scandalized Liner in Nude, but this one is just super dried out and time to go. It's a Scandalize in Scott Light Blue. This one's really beautiful on the inner waterline. This is a great eyeliner. This is the Maybelline Master Precise Skinny in Defining Black. Oh, I almost just knocked over everything. This one is really nice in the waterline. It stays really well and it doesn't irritate my eyes, so love that one. That one is staying. And the Rimmel Scandalize in Black. This used to be like my favorite black eyeliner and it's just been replaced by other things. It's dried out, so that one needs to go. The Milani Liquify Eyeliner in Black is amazing. So the Milani Liquify Eyeliner um, line was so good and I think the new line is, is pretty good. I just don't think it wears quite as well. It seems like they changed something. So this black is almost done, but I will use it until it, it dies forever. Uh, I also have the Liquify liner in gold, which, shut up, that is so good. 
All right, I have some of the NYX Faux Blacks. This one is in Burnt Sienna. I love these. These are just very, very complimentary. If you wanna do a smoky eye, I have all of those, I think, or most of them. This is the shade Midnight, which is like the black and blue, which actually looks navy on your eye, which is pretty impressive since most navies tend to look black. Here's another Milani Liquify. This one is in silver. Again, that's ridiculous. I don't know why they discontinued those. Not smart, not smart Milani. This is the Kiss New York Professional Luxury Intense Eyeliner in black. It's retractable. Very, very black, very impressive. Does not irritate my eyes, so that one's staying. I have the NYX Faux Black in Obsidian, which is kind of, oh, needs to be sharpened. So this is the Faux Black in Obsidian, which is more of a purpley black. Gorgeous color. Those are just great little eyeliners. Here is one of the Faux Whites, and this one is in Mint Cream. I am, not, I am terrible, and I have not, I don't like to sharpen my eyeliners until I use them. So I'm not wasting product. Mint Cream, really pretty. These are gorgeous on the inner waterline. Here's another Kiss Professional New York Luxury Intense Eyeliner. This is a retractable in mint green. Another beautiful, beautiful shade. Kiss Professional New York is a great little line and I, I usually find them in like my local beauty supply shop and I, I just adore them. Here's another Rimmel Scandalize. This one is in taupe. That one's pretty, I'm keeping you. Probably not gonna do a lot of damage in here guys, I'm sorry. Here is the NYX Faux Whites in Vanilla, which is kind of a yellowy, yellowy color. This is a kind of whitened out uh, lavender. This is Lavender Blush. Just very creamy, very easy to apply. They don't tug at your lids at all. They're great. Here's another Faux White. This one is in White Smoke. It's a little bit more purpley than White Lavender. Urban, De Urban Decay Perversion. Yeah, it's just a classic. This is a great new one from Maybelline. This is a lasting drama matte eyeliner in jet black. I've actually been using this one quite a bit. Very nice. I look for something that isn't gonna tug at my eyes, but that has some staying power, obviously. Um, this is another Kiss Luxury Intense Eyeliner in Snow White. If you're looking for something really stark in the waterline, that one will do you. These are also great from NYX. These remind me of the Liquify. Um, these are the Slide On, Glide On, Stay On, definitely a turn on waterproof extreme eyeliner pencils. It's a very easy name to remember. And this one is in Sunrise Blue. Really pretty. Trying to get some of these drugstore ones out of the way before we get into the Urban Decay and Stila. This is the new Milani Stay Put uh, Eyeliner in Linked On Black. So it's good, it's just, I don't think it wears as well. Just personal opinion. I think. Oh, here we go. We've got a couple more of the faux whites and faux blacks. So this is the faux white in Honeydew, which is kind of a green, greenish color. And then, oh, and then um, black olive, which is the blackened olive. All right, let's work on some Urban Decay. So I do have West. This is from the Black Market Collection. Pretty warm tone brown. I'm going to keep that one. This one is Rockstar. This is an old oldie buddy goodie dark plum color. I really liked that Black Market Collection. I just thought they had a lot of really interesting muted colors. That's Demolition. Here is Crave. More of a charcoal-y black, not quite as dark as Zero or Perversion. Speaking of Zero, there is Zero. This one was also from the Black Market Collection, I believe. This was Apathy. Gorgeous green. Here's a little tiny Perversion that's um, seen its day, so that one's gonna go. Just so you can see all the blacks together, there is Perversion next to Zero, next to Crave, and then here is Black Market, which is an, another black. 
just so you can see all the differences. This is Chaos, which is a beautiful matte bright blue. Pupils like this are easy to keep for a long time because you can just keep sharpening them and because the product that hasn't been sharpened isn't exposed to the air, you can keep sharpening and sanitizing it and just makes it easy to keep. This is LSD, so which is why I'm not too concerned about keeping these sharpenable pencils. When we get to the steel ones, it might be a different story. This one is Freak, which is a bright, bright green. It's a fun color. Ultraviolet, another gorgeous shimmery royal blue. Binge is another gorgeous color. Not quite as dark as LSD. Deep End is a, another just so, that's so pretty. Ink is another one from the Black Market Collection. These are kind of like the black market collection is almost like the faux blacks from from NYX. This is Tornado, which is a purple. This is Riot, which is another purple. A little bit brighter. They're very close though. This one is Vice, which is a brighter violety purple. Desperation is another one from the gorgeous gray from the what am I trying to say? Black Market Collection. This was the double-ended pencil that came with Naked 3 and it came with Black Heart on one side. I used the heck out of this pencil. And Dark Side, oh, what did it say? Black Heart and Dark Side were the two colors that it came with. Worst, worst swatches ever, sorry guys. And then this one, it was for the Naked Basics. This was Crave, again, just another smoky, blackened color and then this one is Venus which is gorgeous on the inner corner. This is Crave or oh, Crash I'm sorry not Crave Crash another purple. This one is Roach gorgeous shimmery brown. This one is Twice Baked and then this one is probably one of my all-time favorites this is Mars I love this color so stunning. And then this one I use most on my lower waterline. This is the Waterline Pencil in Walk of Shame. Hi, Peta. What's your favorite, huh? What's your favorite? Oh, and I do have one more faux black. And this one is in Oxblood. I make a pretty lip liner too. Hi, Peta. Hi, Peta. Come on. Whoa. Peta, we're having a catastrophe. Ah, oh, get it? All right, now these are my Stila Stay All Day liners, and I've had some of these for years, so, or the smudge sticks, I'm sorry, not the Stay All Day liners. These are the smudge sticks. Uh, so if these are good, I'm gonna keep them, but if they're dried out, it's gonna be time for them to go. So this is in the shade Aubergine. Ooh, that one's dried out. <laughs> that hurts me to do, but. This is in the shade Stargazer. Oh, that one's still good, you're staying. This one is in the shade More. That one is still good, really pretty green. This one is in the shade Starfish. These all came out in a limited edition collection. You are a little dried out, so you're gonna go. This is in the shade Tetra. You are very dried out, you're gonna go. This is in the shade Canary. Unfortunately, that one is dried out as well, so you need to go. This is in the shade Navy. Oh, so pretty. You're staying. I knew some of these were done, so it was just time for some of these. Lionfish. Yep, nothing out of that one. That one needs to go. This is the shade Empress. Yep, that one needs to go. This is the shade Emerald. I think you're okay. Here is the shade Half Moon, which is a gorgeous gray color. This one is in the shade Deep Fuchsia. That one unfortunately is dried out, so that one's gotta go. This one used to be my favorite 
inner or waterline eyeliner and this is angelfish so stinking pretty that one can stay this is the shade oscar fish that one's a little dry it needs to go and then this is the shade mint julep oh so pretty but it's it's dry it's got to go oh that hurt okay all right, let me reorganize and then we'll come back and see where we stand. All right guys, so this is what the container looks like now. I know it's kind of a weird angle, but just the way I've organized it, I in this top section, I've put all the glitters and pigments forward so I remember to use them. I have moved kind of the tools back because if I'm gonna be using the glitters, I'm gonna be using, you know, the adhesives. Um, I have, I don't use these lip glitters as often, so they got moved back. I don't use liquid liners and cream liners as much, so they got moved back. I have now organized this first drawer um, here with my faux blacks and faux whites on this side because I do tend to use them quite a bit. I've put all my liquid bases and thicker chubby pencil bases down here in a drawer where I know I'll be going into it more often. And then just all of my, my random eyeliners from the drugstore here. In this drawer I have just put all of my mascaras so definitely cut those down quite a bit and then all my lip liners which you know I don't have a problem just digging in there so I just kind of left them where they they were and in this drawer I have my Urban Decay and Stila eyeshadow or eyeliner so just makes me happy to go in and, and find the one I'm looking for so I feel like that's much more organized I feel like we did quite a bit of damage as far as cleaning out this drawer with a bunch of unnecessary things so you know these are just all of the pigments and mascaras and lip liners and liquid liners and just nonsense that I'm getting rid of so I hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one bye guys